Hey there, and thank you for joining me for another episode of YQG and Bloom. My name is Tracy Martins, and again, we are still here at Wolf and Rebel for my podcast pop-up. We're on the corner of Drillard and Seminole, and I have with me Roxanne from my traveling backpack on Instagram. Hello, hello. Good to be here. Thank you for having me, Tracy. It's so nice to see you. (laughs) I was shocked that she just came in last night from New York and popped in to visit us. Yeah. What is it like (laughs) to be a content creator? Because you are on the go. (laughs) Yes, I was just going to say, it's really much a life of being on the go. Um, Really, every aspect of life is on the camera for myself. Like, I, my traveling backpack is not only, like, showcasing what is going on in our community here in Windsor Essex or like my travels, but it's also sharing like the behind the scenes and that yeah. personal day to day life. I share my to do list every day, which so- I hate <laughs> that, by the way, because I look at it and go, no way, I can't do it. Oh, no. But yeah, and sometimes I look at it myself and I'm like, OK, we're getting really ambitious here. But uh, it just, you know, it just reminds you, like, take every day, day by day and and go from there. Yeah. <laughs> well, what made you get into this and start um, it? Oh, so about eight years ago, I went. No, that's a lie. It's like nine years now. Next year is going to be a 10 year anniversary oh. that I went on my first year abroad to learn, um, I did a year of law school in France. And then I came back and I was so depressed because I had so many pictures and I missed my friends. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go for a second year um, to teach English. And during those, uh, like that year and a half that I was back finishing my degree, I decided to like start slowly sharing pictures. And I had created the hashtag My Traveling Backpack on my personal account. So if you go and look, you'll see some old, old pictures from France. And uh, that then when I went to teach uh, English, I was like, you know what, let's turn this into like a thing. Yeah. And I created the Instagram page. And then from there, I was, you know, sharing just travel content from places I've been. And then once the pandemic happened, I moved back to Windsor and I was like, OK, trying to make the most out of uh, being back home because I loved Ottawa, Ottawa, dear and near to my heart. And um, I was like, okay, let's let's just, you know, explore Windsor, see see what's going on, see what's changed over the years. Surprisingly, a lot. A lot has changed. (laughs) A lot has changed. And for the good, for the good, for sure. And so that's that's how like being more Windsor focused became about. And now it's just like my whole thing now. <laughs> oh, I hear you. There's just so much to do now and yeah. you seem to catch every little piece <laughs> of it. That's a full-time job. Yes, yes it is. And it's exciting. It's yeah. really fulfilling. I love connecting with local businesses mm-hmm. and small and entrepreneurs and learn about their journey and learn about those pivots that they had to do during the pandemic to stay afloat or just to change the idea of what mm-hmm. they've been doing. And I think like being able to you know, get a little insight into an entrepreneur's brain is really the essence of magic because, you know, entrepreneurs are resilient and, and like yeah. the, the, the grind is real, the grind well, is real. And, but they can be stubborn too. So to, for them to be able to change, to roll with it and realize that, okay, maybe it's better doing it this way. Mm-hmm. Now, when did this turn full time for you? Yeah, so in May of this year, so May of 2023, I got laid off from, I was working in tech. I was working in tech for three and a half years and I got laid off. It was part of the 20% that got laid off in May. And I was like already doing full-time content creation Mm -hmm. for the past two years. So I was like, okay, this is the moment. Like if I've ever had a signal from divine intervention, like this is it. Like I need to take this and run with it. And yes, since May, it's been full time for me. And uh, it's been really cathartic journey of like learning more about myself, about how I create content, about how small businesses create content and and teaching people marketing. And, And it's just been a whole bag of different experiences that I couldn't have done without doing full-time. So I'm really thankful for the the, the events that occurred to become full-time. But you also need a break every once in a while. Yes, it's true because burnout is real. And uh, I think as content creators, since, you know, a lot of our content is based on our creativity, unless, you know, you're doing historical work, it's very laid out. But like as a creative for me, I fill my cup when I am creating. So 
the break, it's really hard for me to break to, yes. completely. Um, but I learned I was recently like super sick and I was like, okay, this is, this is the sign. Okay. You've, you've burnt out. Like, yeah. So now we are starting to take care. So yeah. So now yeah. I have to start taking steps to get back to that place of being, not feeling well, go, go, go and overwhelmed all the time. But that right is now. the thing. I know. <laughs> but that is the thing about being your own boss is it's so exciting but then it's all encompassing and it takes over everything. And then you got to realize that, okay, it's okay to take time for me as mm -hmm. well, but to give yourself permission without a boss saying, okay, you need it. You, you take a vacation. Yeah. You almost feel guilty. Yes. And that's one of the biggest learnings mm -hmm. is like realizing there is no one else that's going to tell me you need to stop. It's me. So um, I'm learning, you know, being a full-time entrepreneur is like, new for me so it's but, all a learning progress but you're successful already so <laughs> far you. this is, i mean it's growing really great and the content's great i love watching <laughs> me you so much flouncing <laughs> all over windsor and just you're just happy and bubbly and what'd you think of new york <laughs> thank you so much uh <laughs> new york was good it was chaotic That's your energy though yeah it, it's chaotic and i realize like it's funny everybody is like in their own world in new york and everybody yeah. is go 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 so it feels like very my energy matched yeah but also realize okay whew, everybody needs to calm right down yeah <laughs> it's not a place you could live in no time. no i've always said though i would be interested to live in new york for like three months like one month to settle in one month to explore and then one month to wrap up so yeah. hey who knows maybe maybe a whole content series why not of living traveling in yeah. and backpack you can go new anywhere york. yeah we'll see one i know day. that's why i keep telling my husband i'm like well why can't and bloom i said we can go on vacation somewhere it's why can't and bloom in new yeah. york or yeah. in wherever yeah just of course. bring it with me yeah no so good It'd be fun <laughs> <laughs> but i want i don't want to keep you because i know you're probably exhausted <laughs> but thank you so much for no, stopping thank in. you for having me this is really exciting and i love to see you uh highlight and spotlight all these small business owners oh. and local entrepreneurs so congratulations on ykg and blue thank you and can't wait to see more blooming happening <laughs> <laughs> uh, and again my name is tracy and i want to thank roxanne for being here and this is ykg and bloom you guys have a great day mm -hmm.